We are live. Welcome to camp. Uptown. Uptown, baby. Shalom, family. I hear you a little bit. <laughs> Did you want that stand that uh Shalom? Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Yeah, there you go. There you go. How you doing? Hello, hello, hello. There you go. Hey, how you doing, Becky? You with the tight pants and the white skirt dress, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what that is. Probably going to the club like a whore, you know? That's what they do good. All praise Yahweh Bashimel Shah is HOI Illinois back again to bring out the words of Yahweh Bashimel Shah. We're here to wake up the black and Hispanic the American people to come back to the most high before it's too late. We have a lot of Edomites walking around, and there you go. How's it going, buddy? What's your name? <laughs> yeah, he's in a rush, too. See? And you see what's funny? He put on the headphones and act like he didn't hear me. How you, how you gonna put on the headphones after I ask you a question? <laughs> I, I think it was his mask, babe. Huh? It was his mask. See, that's the mask. Of outside. <laughs> a, mask, a mask outside. <laughs> now, what the hell is going on? Right? So, first thing we're gonna start off with the scripture Ezekiel. No, let me get Ezekiel 35. Shalom. We're gonna go with the classic. Ezekiel 35. Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Hey, Tom, how's it going, man? I'm good, man. You good? Yes, What's your name? Sam. Sam? My bad. I thought it was Tom. Sam I am? And that's your girlfriend right there? Yes, sir. What's her name? Gabby. Gabby? Sam and Gabby. Or Gabriella. Gabrielle. Gabrielle, right? Yep. Are you Gabrielle Union? No. Are you sure? I'm very hey, what about you, Sam? Are you Sam Haynes? No, sir. Do you believe in God? Do you love God? Do God love you? You hope or do you believe? You got to have some more. Come on, man. Have some faith. Huh? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? You know what that is? I mean, yeah, Nationality. Like, are you Caucasian? Are you Polish? Are you French? Okay. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see if your hope is right. Let's see if God loves you and you too, Gabby. What's your nationality? Caucasian. Oh, okay. Two Caucasians. Uh, double trouble. <coughs> so let's see. You believe in the Bible? Yeah. You love the Bible? Yeah. Yeah. Do you love the Bible? Are you sure? Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see if God loves me and Jalan, he loves you. Jalan. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written, <laughs> Jacob have I loved. Do you know who's Jacob? Jacob is the forefathers of the 12 tribes of Israel, the people that's on this chart right here. Right? Now, Jacob had an evil to <laughs> him. And the Bible is going to show you who he is. Romans chapter 9 verse 13 As it is written, Jacob have I love But Esau That's Jacob evil twin brother But Esau Have I hated So God 
is talking about the Caucasian people, which in this Bible are known as Esau. God said he has a perpetual hatred for your people. So if you think God loved you, I know you said you hoped. Don't even hope. Don't even hope. Don't worry about it. This is the true words of God. Hey, how's it going, man? What's your name? Huh? You speak Spanish? Right? But you ever heard that before? That God hates you? You never heard it before, right? Yeah, you, you the fallacy, all right? God hates you too, damn Tom. Or Tom Jones. Uh, you came from the gym, you gotta go back. <laughs> you gotta work out more. So we can have you in a cotton field. Don't mind him, he's just a distraction, you know? Don't worry about that. Let's get back to you, Sam and Gabby. All right? Mr. Sam, I am. Mr. God loves me, hopefully. All right? Damn. Caucasians, man. Two Caucasians, man. Double trouble. Two Caucasians. Without a cause. <laughs> Do you know your peoples are murderers? Huh? <laughs> you look shocked. Like, you like... <laughs> <laughs> you alright? I said, are you alright? Are you alright? Yeah, you look shocked. You look like, you're like, what the hell is going on? Right? Be honest. Right? Yeah, you never thought you would see this before, right? You never thought that. Right? You ever heard of Hebrew Israelites? You never? The Hebrew Israelites are the chosen people of God. That God have given his law, statutes, and commandments to. You ever heard of the Ten Commandments? Yeah. Well, that's a lie. It's not Ten Commandments. It's 613 Commandments. Now, those commandments were only given to our chosen people, which are the people that's on this chart. Do you see yourself on this chart? No way. No way. Right? But you, you try to look, car. right? Yeah. And the you door. try to look, but it wasn't there, right? Yeah. Right. Because for you, the other chart that you have... It's supposed to be a chart where God is going to destroy your people. And God has a hit list. And the hit list, your people are at the top of it. Why? Because all you have done to the black and Hispanic and native and Seminole Indians, your nation of people have only slaughtered, have only murdered, have only lynched, have only poisoned, have done so many wicked things. And then you got Tom right there with a damn Kool-Aid, walking around with a damn ice cone, a sandwich, whatever, milkshake, enjoying his life. But y'all all working on stolen land. Did you know that? Did you know you're walking on stolen land? <laughs> yeah. oh, God, where, where the hell you been, man? Did you go to school? Yeah. What school? Did yeah. I go to where? Rich Woods, Rich Woods High School? Yeah. You see, the name is in itself. Rich Wood High School. Where the so-called rich people go. But how did y'all get y'all money? To have that school called Rich Wood High School. Y'all saw the riches of the Native and Seminole Indians in America and robbed them of their own land and their own money. And then had the black and Hispanic people build your country for free. And y'all get a 400 year head start. 400% profit. Well, you got the black and Hispanic the Americans suffering, poor. Ain't get their reparations that they was promised more than 100 years ago. But y'all can have some privilege and go into a high school called Rich Wood High School. And profit from all the money that we have worked to give to y'all. Well, not give, but y'all stole. 
the motorcycles, to see them riding around these cars, the blocks, anything. Everything is ours. And your forefathers have stolen it. And there's a time of judgment for everything. So I'm um, family. This is the real truth for the Bible. You say you love God or you hopefully God loves you. God don't like your people. Because all y'all know is murder, slaughter, wickedness, evil, pillage, dropping bombs after bombs on cities, nations, countries, innocent people. And then you in America, Sam I am or Sam Haynes and Gabby walking around all day and just enjoying your night. Well, you're supposed to be in prison right now for the crimes that your forefathers have committed. And for your family benefited off of the blood, sweat, and tears of the blacks, Hispanics, and the Americans. Y'all supposed to be locked up because y'all are the children of the what? Of the devil. The children of the there you go, children of the core. What's your name? Uh, the cough. What's your name? <laughs> you see, sound like a dog that's choking, choking on that coin. Straight up. How you doing? Awesome. Awesome. And hey, what is your name? Jenny from the block? No, Jenny from California. What's your nationality, Jenny? I'm white. You're white? You're white Irish? Yeah. You're all pocket of leather gold? <laughs> Native American? Native American? Seven. What is your father? No, what is your father? Is he Native American? No, my ex-husband. No, I said your father. What is he? He's English, Caucasian, right? So you have a Caucasian person, Caucasian man, and a Caucasian woman. A young Caucasian woman and an old Caucasian woman too. But you say your ex-husband was Native American, but that'll include you. Right. Right, are you racist? Do you love God? What color is God? What? Every color. What color is the son of God? Every color. Nope. Yes, nope, 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 nope. You see that? She said the son of God, Christ himself, is a rainbow. <laughs> Where in the hell did she come from? <laughs> of course not. Because you came from the gates of hell. You, you, oh, you see? First she said she believed in God. She loves God. And then she said the Son of God is a damn rainbow. Of course he exists, but he don't exist for you. Let's see what the Bible says. Do you have no faith? You are a Mister. You see this? Hey, devil, no, don't run away yet, devil. Let's talk. Come on back and let's talk, you damn devil. God. You a damn yeah. angel of death. Torturing. You a crusty yes. old demon. I'm gonna have you you ain't gonna do nothing, wow. you wicked old crusty old damn viper serpent yeah, devil. I didn't say that. Tomorrow. You said it yourself, you damn demon. Wow. The wicked flu with no member suit. Get from behind me, Satan. You wicked, disgusting old dusty old viper. Wow. <laughs> Look at her. And say, I'm going to get you in trouble. Wow. In trouble for what? For speaking the words of God? And there she go. That's right. Why? Because that's the hell of the Satan. And when you call it devil, you look at devil down the eye. And you call it a damn demon. That's what it's called. You crusty demon. And what you doing? You recording? Let me put a smile. Hey, 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 thank you. Hey, but I don't go that way. I don't swing that way, bro. I don't swing that way. 
There you go. They, hey, yeah. see the devil ones. Yeah. There you go. All right, watch the space. Watch the space. Watch the space. Watch the space. My bad, man. My bad. My bad. Watch the space. Watch the space. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy Snooker. Jimmy G. Jimmy G. <laughs> hey, you the mother effort. Oh, part of my yeah, part of your French. Are you French? C'est con français or Italian? Oh, oh, Van Gogh, huh? Oh, hey. Van Gogh, Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Yeah, yeah. You know? You got to be Italian and food and dish. Italiano. Right, right. <laughs> you know the dish of God is going to chop your head. Oh, oh, wow. oh yeah, Van Gogh. Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, you have a nice night, my friend. Hey, you have a nice night. Keep that sword in your pocket, though. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it, man. I got the sword right here. The Bible. Oh, the sword of God, right? There you go, brother. Wow. Oh, you dragons. Hey, you be in peace, because the son of God going to piece your head off. Wow. What a nice sword. Wow. You see what just happened there? Yeah. What just happened? Tell me what just happened. She did what? She what? Lost her time. She got her whole body covered up with what? With sick. And she's closed-minded. You see that? Even Esau calling out what's going on. He's showing off your picture. Right? Of course. He's like, yeah, bro, look at this dude right here, bro. What are you going to do? He's going to try, he gonna, he gonna try some wickedness. Try to set me up. Don't worry. The Most High got me through the spirit. How about you know shot? Kind. The truth is the truth. Say it up. The truth is the truth. Fight for the Lord and the Lord shall fight for you until death. This is the true power of the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Rashad. When you come out in the highways and bowels and speak the words of God in truth and stand bold as a lion. All demons come at you and you just cutting them with the words of God. You ain't got to move. This is what it means to be a son of God, a prince of the power. This is the truth for the Bible that's only given to the children of Israel. Straight up. So back to you, Mr. Sam and Miss Gabby. With the land that had been stolen, part of the laws is supposed to return stuff back that you have stolen. Now you might say you didn't steal it, but your forefathers have taken this whole damn land. And they have not returned it back. They have murdered. They have locked up innocent people, they have poisoned, and they have not returned anything back. How you doing? What's your name? Huh? What's your name? What's your name? Huh? Vita? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Where are you from? What are you, Caucasian? You're Caucasian? Right, you're white. You see, there you go. There's nothing good when it comes to being white. All you have to do is kill. There you go, sister. That's all they do is kill. How you doing, sister? What's your name? Kai Kai too good. Kai Kai too good. All praises. And what's your name, brother? Maestro. Maestro? Like a white man. Maestro. Huh? Mom, will you hand them hey, in there? Go, will you hand them flyers real quick? Right, right there. Hey, hand them hey, one. Hey, Just give them one. Here you go. Here's good. All the time. Hey, Nick. All the time, God is good. I and can't, Mom. You. There you go. Check this out right here. You see yourself on the show? Where at? Let me know. Let me know. You too, brother. Let me know. Judah? And what about you, King? What's your father? What's your father? So-called black man? Right? So you're from the tribe of Judah as well. The tribe of Judah as well. Let me show y'all something, right? Everything is a balance. Right? Right behind y'all is that guy right there named Sam and Gabby. Right? We got Maestro and we got KK Good. Hold on, sister. Hold on, sister. Hold on, sister. Check this out. Let me show you something, sister. Let me show you something. Let me show you something, right? Okay. All right. Show me right? Judah, you are the chosen people of God. What's going on right now is that we, as the people of Judah, we are suffering curses. Right now. And I'm going to prove that to you. I'll pull that 
right? One of the curses is that we walking around and our enemies all around us. And nobody's trying to help us. In a land that uh -uh. they stole nope. from us. Right? Oh, no. you keep going, you keep going. Keep going. Don't worry. Right? Like 70 shows or something. <laughs> this little boy. Right? You got the key, you got, what's that? What's that, a cross on your neck? Yeah, of course. What's your nationality? Caucasian? Yeah, I'm Polish. Uh, all right, keep that close. <laughs> keep it there. Keep it there. You don't need it. All right? So, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28 in the Bible, the King James Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 28 in verse 15. It says that it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments, Shalom, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Number one, the children of Israel, the people on this chart, are suffering curses. God put curses on us because we didn't want to keep his commandments. Why? Because God is only dealing with us. He has only been dealing with us since the beginning of time. The commandments, which is 613 and not just 10. Y'all okay? How's it going, sis? Y'all come through. Y'all come through. Y'all come through. Let's go. More the million. There you go. Come learn something. Come learn something. Right. Come learn something, right? So God says what? He says that when it comes to all people on this chart, we are suffering persons. Nobody else. Only the people on this chart is suffering persons. Nobody else. So we got to get to the root of the problem. The root of the problem is that we never came back to God the correct way. Ever. We never came back to the Most High God the correct way. Ever. We always make mistakes. We always try to not deal with the problem. Not examine what's going on. Not look around us. Got the damn enemy walking around. Having a good time. And you see, he's smelling himself. <laughs> hey, it be. Right. He smell himself. Of course you are. Smell like a dog. Right. He smell himself because he smell like dog. BS. So what's going on right now? They come in and they infested every goddamn thing, man. Here. They are cancer on this earth. Wherever they walk their foot in, everything dies. Straight up. The giraffe got killed today. Oh, wow. See? Oh my you see that? Oh my see? God. It's the Lord, man. This oh, is the Lord. Oh, my goodness. See, this is a beautiful reunion right here. I say, gather together, or they should not desire. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. All right, good, good, good. And she be about her business. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you can't leave. Oh, you got to go? All right. Do you feel sorry for what happened to our people? Are you sure? What about you, Gabby? Be honest. Do you truly feel sorry for what happened to the so-called black people? Getting lynched, getting murdered, forgetting who they are? Losing their nationality? Every day trying to make this meet? Not attacking nobody, minding their business. And then the police coming and attacking us. Putting us in prison. Are we just trying to make ends meet? Are we trying to be nice to everybody? But everybody hate us? Non-stop, everybody hates us. No matter what we do, just because of the color of our skin. What the hell does color of your skin got to do with your personality? Nothing. But that's not how society treats us. If you feel sorry and you like what I'm doing, would you be able to do a good gesture to show that you're sorry? And then you're here for the cause. Are you able to do a good gesture if I were to ask you? In good faith? Probably, yeah? What about you, Gabby? Probably, yeah? All right, let's see. Let's see what this Bible going to say. Bible got it said. All right, hold on. We were still in the lesson, still teaching. 
Let's see what this Bible got to say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, hold on. So Sam and Gabby, they say they feel sorry for what happened to the so-called black people in America. Right? Let's see what this Bible says. You're supposed to be a man of your word? Be a man of your word. Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 23. Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 23. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth. And look at the dust of thy feet. This is the words of God. Are you willing to show a good gesture and of good faith? For the pain and suffering and the slaughter, the rape, the robbery, and the murder, and the lynching, and getting put in wicked courthouses, in prison, for crimes that we haven't committed. And in a land that you stolen, your forefathers stolen, and you're walking on the free land. While we stuck in the ghettos in the hoods, in the projects. While y'all living in nice buildings and places. Are you willing to show a good justice and good faith? And bow to the words of the Most High. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bow down. Bow down. Both knees on the floor. You as well. Come. Head down to the ground. Head down to the ground. And say, you are sorry for what happened to the Hebrew Israelites. You got to say it. Say it louder. Say it louder, man. And you see that? Come. This is the true power of the Bible. You are the children of God. You're supposed to be at the top, and they're supposed to be at the bottom. You are kings and princesses on this earth. Y'all may rise. And when you tell your people, that they are death and destruction working on this earth. Esau, Edom. And if you see any so-called black or Hispanic or Native American men, women, and children that look like these people, that look like us right here, you better let them know they are the real children of God. And they got to come back to the Most High before it's too late. All right? Sam and Gabby, you may be dismissed. Enjoy your night. Hi. All right? Have a good night. Enjoy your night. Have a good night. Have a good God don't love them, sister. I ain't gonna lie to them. I ain't gonna lie to them, sisters. God don't love them. I'll show you why. Y'all have you right a now. good night. Y'all hear some lights. I'll show you right now. I'll show you right now. You want to learn? It's a cold heart, too. So I'm here to teach you how to do it. The scripture says, Galatians 4:16. Am I your enemy? That's 15. I'm here to teach you how to do it. You don't have to believe. Just see by the action. Everything goes on. This is Romans chapter 9 and verse 13 in the New Testament. As it is written, Jacob have I love, but Esau, hold on, hold on. I got the Old Testament here too. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I love. Jacob is our forefather for the black Hispanic state American people. Y'all are people of Jacob, which are the tribe of Judah. You are running through what? Through Christ is running through your veins right now. Because Christ is from the tribe of Judah as well. Jacob have I love, but Esau. Esau are those people that just walked away. Caucasian people today. And the word Esau in Hebrew, it means wasted away. What did God waste away from them? Their melanin. They have no melanin. What they have is leprosy. Which in the Bible, Leviticus chapter 13, that means it's unclean. When a person is walking around with leprosy, they are unclean. They're an abomination in the eyes of God. Now, if the Caucasian men of America say, in God we trust, why they don't tell nobody about that law? 
in a bundle when a person walk with leopards, they put him in jail for seven days until the leprosy went away. They come back and check in the prison, and it still has leprosy on his body or her body, guess what? They go right back into the prison again another seven days. Now what about a whole entire people that was born with leprosy? They were supposed to all be in prison. These are the orders of God. But the Lord says what? Jacob have he loved us. He loves us. He has blessed us with melanin, with knowledge, wisdom, understanding. How's it going, King? It's going good, man. You're an Israelite, like King. I appreciate that knowledge. All right. He blessed us with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And you see, they keep telling, they say, just keep coming. That's right. Why? Because sometimes they don't want to say nothing, but they're thinking it. Sometimes people need somebody else to speak it for them. To be that example for them. To be that first example or be that light. So they can know that, guess what? If he's not, if he's the only one doing it, guess what? I can do that too. The most high son, our people, it's time to rise up, man. Death and destruction is coming to this place, America. And the Lord is about to kill two-thirds, which is 66.6% .6 of his people first. That's not following his Bible in truth and sincerity or keeping God's commandments. God ain't messing around, and God is a so-called black man. And you know what a so-called black man or father. When he tell you what to do, you better do what you gotta do. You don't follow the rules of this house, he gonna kick your ass out this house. And go live and get your own house. But when God tell you what to do and you don't follow it, and he kick you out of his house, you finish. That means what? You lose your spirit in your life. My fingers Straight up. The Lord said, Jacob have I love. The blacks and Spanish the American people are the people, people of Jacob. Esau have I hated. Why does God hate the Caucasian people as a nation? Because they have murdered. They have slaughtered. They have destroyed. They have poisoned. Tuskegee experiment. Syphilis. Cancer. AIDS. HIV, the COVID-19, which started in the damn other side of the world, in the east side of the world, China. That's why Trump called it the China virus. And all of a sudden, it just came here to America and just went through a whole thing. The next thing, they said, we the one with the virus. They're blaming us for the COVID virus. How long are we going to suffer, man? How many things are we going to get blamed for? Well, we ain't do nothing. We just minding our business. How many things are we going to get blamed for, man? And just keep taking it and taking it and taking it and not saying a goddamn thing. Got a brother in Minnesota that got shot down by a damn cop lied to the jury and said that she thought she had a taser. But you had a damn gun. Ain't that the young man and shot him in the chest. A so-called black lieutenant man who fought for his country, America, in the land of the so-called free and the brave when they had stolen so many blacks and Hispanics. And now he's a lieutenant general get pulled over in his car by a regular damn cop. Mistreated. Mistreated is a, <laughs> that's a nice word of saying it. That's a nice word of saying it. You know how high a lieutenant is or a general in the army? And he got belittled by a damn street cop. You wasn't here, they right. don't know. I don't right. say y'all, they got this for me, right. so I didn't get nothing. Guess what? Right. Right. Here, right. your mom, go over there and get right. some. Right. Right. Which scripture? <laughs> Who are the lost? I'll show you right now. I'll show you right now. 31. Uh, 
This is Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. Straight up. That's what the Most High means by life. When you keep His commandments, the Most High gives you your life. And you'll live. But who was the commandments given to? Who was these commandments that they want to preach in the church, the pastors, and say we got ten commandments and God we trust? May the Lord sanctify. Let's see who these commandments was given to. This is Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19. He showeth his words unto Jacob. People on this chart. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Those are the laws, statutes, and commandments. He has shown that only to Israel. We are the nation of Israel. Verse 20. He have not built so with any nation and as for his judgments they have not known them praise ye the Lord hmm. God ain't deal with no other nation and you never heard that one before because I see your reaction God ain't deal with no other nation only the people that's on this chart when it comes to these people walking around the court, I can just play with them mess around with them here and there and this and that but my goal to come out here is to find our people. It's to find our people. Why? Because like you were saying, we are the lost. And I'll show you that in this Bible right now. This is Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. And this is the word of Christ. This is what Christ said. How's it going, brother? What's your name, King? What's your name, King? Huh? Kerala? Robert, all praises. My name is Ariad. Nice to meet you, Kay. Right? You should be Muslim. I used to be Muslim too. I'm gonna build with you, King, alright? I got you. Hold on. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Mom. This is what Christ said. Right? No, matter of fact, <laughs> Matthew chapter 15 and verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Zidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him. Now the woman of Canaan, Canaan pertains to the Hamites. Hamites are pertaining to Africans. Now, we are not Africans. We are Hebrew Israelites. There is a difference. A woman of Canaan, which is an African woman, came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy upon me, O Lord, Thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. Now look what Christ did. The same Christ that he said, oh, Jesus so love. Let's see what Christ did. But he answered her not a word. He didn't even give her attention. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away. For she crieth after us. Christ's disciples, the twelve disciples, John, Peter, Matthew, Luke, righteous saints, told Christ to send away this African woman. Why? Because she's not his people. Now let's see what Christ said. You thought that was bad. Let's see what Christ said to her. Verse 24, Matthew 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said that. The same so-called Jesus Christ that they say died for the whole world. 
Well, they didn't break it down easily. They didn't give you the right interpretation in church. The word God was speaking about was the word of Israel. So God sent his son Christ as a messenger, as a prophet, as a messiah, as a king, and as the prince of peace. Select. To raise up his people back from the dead. And to the people that was lost as a sheep. Because Christ is the shepherd. And as a shepherd, you have to lead the flock in righteousness. And you have to feed the flock in righteousness. With bread and with water. Physically and spiritually. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep. How is the sheep lost? Because the sheep don't know they're Hebrew Israelites. The sheep don't know God literally sacrificed his son to save the black and Hispanic and Native American similar Indian people. And gave them laws and commandments. And raised up prophets for them. Promised them the kingdom of heaven. You see? Everything is spiritual. He said keep the fight. Like Paul said in the book of First Peter, fight the good fight. All people thought we was fighting against the system by bringing guns, selling drugs, playing sports, joining their military, joining their police office. We thought we could come into the system and fight in the system to overturn the system. You can't do that in a wicked system. Okay. The way you fight it is the way God wants you to fight it. Through his words first. How? By coming back to your commandments, man. Coming back to your true God, your nationality, your power, who you are, your culture, your language, the food you eat, the way you dress. How we get there? How we get there? By first repenting. What is our language? I got you right now. Every question you got, I'm going to ask all of your questions. It's about the questions, man. I'm going to ask you all your questions. It's about the questions. Hey, that's why I said. I'm I didn't say I'm going to close the book and run. No, no, no. Right? So check this out. That's what you do. Right? Somewhere. Right. First, you got to go to the native stop. Right. You keep the fight on. Right. Here you go. This is the spirit that you wear. Right. Here you go. Check this. Check this. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. It says, Repent ye. Therefore, repent means to confess your sins. Now go back to the ways of doing drugs of eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobsters, of being a liar, being a murderer. You got to go back to the Most High God by repenting first, by confessing and letting go to all the wickedness, man. All your sins. Repent ye, therefore, and be converted. Convert means to change. Radical change. Why must you change quickly? Because the Son of God is coming quickly. And when he come quickly, he's coming with a sword. People looking at me with this sword, they're thinking, this, this, is a, this is not even a sharp sword, this is a dull sword. The sword I'm using is this right here. The sword of God. When you come back to the most high, the words. Right, there you go. I got the both spiritual and the physical. But I prefer the spiritual first. It's a balance. It's a balance in the force. Good versus evil. Light versus darkness. Spiritual and physical. But first you have to repent. How do you repent? You got to know the sins that you're committing first. Let's see what sin is. I didn't say I, I, didn't say I, I said we. How do we do? Right, that's what I'm saying. I got you right now. Everything I'm asking you through the mic. Right? This is 1 John. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. First, you got to understand what sin is first. Because I can say y'all committed sin, but if I don't tell y'all what, what is sin or what sins y'all committed, I ain't doing my job right. I like the wicked church pastors. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin, transgressive, also the law for sin 
is the transgression of the law. So sin is when you are breaking God's laws. Now, next thing we got to do is what? Find out what laws we're keeping and what laws are we breaking. One of the laws for a man is what? He's not supposed to cut his bit. Ever. Right? Ever. On God. Right? <laughs> Check this out. This is Leviticus. This is a law. The first five books of the Bible is where all 613 laws is found. And this is found where? In the Old Testament. Yes. <laughs> See? Now in the New. There you go. Because the Old Testament, the laws, they're not done away with. Mm, see what you would have missed. I love you. <laughs> so check this out. This is Leviticus chapter 19. In verse 27. Leviticus chapter 19. In verse 7. It's so like in verse 27. It says... Ye shall not eat, so like you shall not round the corners of your heads. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. What does that mean? You're not supposed to cut your beard. You're supposed to keep your beard growing as a man. That's good. I, I, I do that. Hey. <laughs> hey, man. It's going to grow. It'll grow. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. It's the words of God. But check this. Check what's funny. Check what's funny. When they want you to get a job, they say you got to come in what? Clean shaven. Why do they say that? Because they know. There you go. Yeah. They know that you're supposed to be keeping your beard. Why? Because that's the law of God. They know that. The Caucasian men know that. So what he did, he built the whole entire American system, literally, to keep you in sin. To... That's how wicked this nigga is, man. This devil, cunning hunter. He built the whole entire American system to keep you in sin in everything. You shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. That's why they say you got to be clean shaven. They want you to get a haircut. Nice shaven. If you get a bald you love it. Top, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you get a baldy and your your hair's going bald, that's different. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. But if you choose to go and get a baldy and cut your hair, God is like, nigga, what the hell are you doing? You going against my rules? Why? Because God got woolly hair. God got woolly hair. But they don't tell you that in the church. Exactly. Right. Because they signed a 501c3. Yes. What is that? A covenant of death. Yes. A contract with Satan to sell their own people out. Yes. Verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. God literally said, when it comes to your body, you're not supposed to put no tattoos on your body. At all. Hmm? There you go. But you didn't know that before. That's why you're here in this church right now. Why? Because it's a church. When two or more is gathered together, God is in the midst of these. This is a church. Right here is Jerusalem. And right over there is Babylon. Death and destruction. Jerusalem is the people first before a city. We are the temple of God. We are the kingdom of heaven in the flesh. So when you put a tattoo on yourself, you're trying to remember the dead and you're holding yourself back physically and spiritually. Living Testament. Right, brother? Living Testament, man. And the thing with our people, I can see it on your eyes. Y'all was looking for this, man. Y'all was looking for this truth. But the Most High says what? Timing is everything. <laughs> Time and with that, he had to go. Right? Let's get some more. Yeah. My job today, if I can leave y'all with some words that y'all know so y'all can change our ways and keep these laws. And Most High will, if I see y'all again, y'all be beautiful and blessed. 
keeping the laws of the most high, man, I made my day, man. My day is already made. I got you. I'm going to hit you with multiple. The greatest hits. The pants, <laughs> the pants, sister. All right, so another law. Uh, part one, there you go. That's part one. Let's get to part 11 right here. Leviticus chapter 11. In verse 7. And the swine, which is the pork, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Of the flesh shall you not eat, and the carcass shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. This is another way of God. And as I said it, see, he's walking with a pink shirt. As a pig. As the swine. Why is it they got pork everywhere? Bacon. Bacon strips. Ham hock. In the church too. Every Sunday morning, they give you the ham, give you the damn, the damn, the damn shrimp, double guts, everything. It says it don't chew with the cud. It don't chew with digestive food. Why? Because the pig is made to eat up the stuff from the ground. It's a garbage dispenser. Like she just put the food in the garbage. That's what a pig job is to do. There you go. It's a bottom feeder. And like the saying goes, you are what you eat. Let them look up videos about the swine, the pork. They, they did an experiment, they put Coca-Cola on it, and next thing, in a span in less than 30 minutes, you see worms come out of it. They've been there the whole time. So now when you consume the pork or the pig that can eat any damn thing, now you start to get high blood pressure, gout, knee problems, back problems. You start to breathe harder. You start to get asthma. Why? Because you should have never ate it. God made your body specifically, and you're not supposed to eat pork or pig or strip or crab or lobster because that's to follow your temple. And guess what? When you defile your temple, you're defiling God. Because you're a representation of God on this earth. Verse 9. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters and the seas and in the rivers, them shall you eat. And as I said, the word waters, he walked with a blue sweater. Which represents what? The waters, the sea. You see? Whatever have fins and scales, fish you can eat in the water. But not shrimp, not lobsters. But for some reason, those are the most expensive stuff. And they call it a delicacy. They want you to eat it. Why? Because they know you're going against the laws of God. So now they got a store called Red Lobster. And they make it all nice and famous for you. And they uh, try to biscuits with it. Right? Like you said, like I said, I know no more no, no biscuit, no more no biscuit. No more no, no biscuits. Right? But they put the lobster with it. And you see the pig is back again. <laughs> right? I call it how I see it. These are the ways of God. This is how Christ and was preaching, man. That's why they try to kill him. It even got killed. Why? Because nobody liked the truth. And especially when you're defending the black and Hispanic people. Nobody want to see that. Why? Because everybody want to take advantage of us. They're used to it. They scheme on us. They portray us. They still like nationality and our identity. And they expect us not to do a damn thing or say nothing. And they say, I wish a nigga would say something. Hmm. There you go. It's not even their time is coming. Their time is up. The clock is ticking faster than we even think. And why? They know, and that's why... On it, man. Sister, on it, man. See, the most high brought y'all here. Proverbs 20 and 24. Men's going to the Lord. How can a man understand his own word? God brought y'all here so y'all can get this message. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Check this out. Therefore rejoice ye in heavens, and ye that dwell in them. 
Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. Why? Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Look at the Nas X. Little Nas X. Wicked as hell. You see? Beyond wicked. Because what? He had that contract with Satan. They try to normalize it. Now let's see what the Bible says. There's another law, right? Let's see what the Bible says about little Nas X. He's going to X him up for that wickedness that he's portraying. This is Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. There's laws for everything. And America's saying God we trust. Let's see if they trust in God. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. This is another law from God. But now they're portraying homosexuality. They're portraying trans lives. Trans lives matter. Black lives matter. Well, we're not even black. Y'all skin color is not even black. Y'all brown. Glowing. Golden brown. I bet you the sun would have come out right now. Y'all be shining. Golden brown. Like it says, melanin is popping. But now, they want you to be a homosexual. They want a man to be with another man. They want the woman to be with another woman and be a damn carpet munchie. But now, when they see y'all, a man and a woman, husband and wife, now they, there's a threat. It's not normalized no more. Now they look and they're like, uh-oh, this is a threat. Why is it a threat? Because the Most High said in the book of Genesis, what? He said, multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. Bring more righteous people on this earth of your people, of your nation. Not mixing with the so-called black man mixing with a damn Caucasian woman. Or damn Stacy and, and Harry or whatever. No. A so-called brother and a so-called sister. Beautiful people. Children of God. You can't have a king and a slave married. No. Or a slave woman. Or you can't have a slave man and a queen married. No. There has to be a king and a queen. To royalty. To make a power couple so their children can be blessed. And which is which y'all. That's why when I see this, I'm happy as hell. I'm sick and tired of seeing a so-called black man walking around with a damn Caucasian woman. Calling her a snow bunny. Talking about he got his back or his white trophy wife. One of his sisters is suffering in America. Slave mentality. Easy way out. They stay late, so it's your Why? Because right? they don't got the heart to handle. Right, there you go. They can't stand the pressure. But there's a saying, yeah, there's a saying. Pressure either bursts pipes or makes what? There you go. There you go. When you get the right woman, she's going to push you to be better than you think you are. Straight up. Straight up. And I'm a living testimony to it. Most High gave me a beautiful wife, and she always pushed me to make sure I do the best. Not be lackadaisical. Not make any excuses. Be accountable. Be accountable. That's what it means, man. To be a prince of the power and a daughter of Zion. To be the children of God on this earth as a representation. And I can see in your stance, I can see in the way you stand. You move as a prince of power. With nobility, with honor, with dignity. You don't walk around and slouching and looking down. Nah, you walk with pride, man, with power. I like this one right there. See, he's walking like he got something behind him or something. 
Who's that, Bill and Ted on the on the on the right. Wiki Journey? Right. Yeah, dude, I'm saying, bro. Oh man, yo. What the hell with that that black guy said to me? They just look, they just keep walking, because they know damn well they even try something, we're gonna put some hands on. It. Straight up. But for you, and the beautiful sister right there, as a prince of the power and the daughter of Zion, this is what the most high is talking about, man. This is what the most high want. More of his people to gather together. And you think it's a coincidence? She's seen her teacher, Miss B. And guess, <laughs> right, check, check this out, right? Let me show you something. Because Miss B actually <laughs> fell and actually loved the children. You know right. what happened to Miss B, right? I knew her. Right. Guess what happened to her at her job? They fired, right, but not even that. They fired her at her job for actually caring for the children. Right. Yeah. Right? Think about what you said, sister. They fired her at her job because she cared for the children and didn't want to lie to them and wanted to make sure they was educated. That's her, right? So I'm not making up a lie. So this system, there you go. That's how wicked this system is. When we even care for the people, even if they're not your children, you still have love for them and compassion for them. Right. And she fired, she got fired, as you should. And she got fired for that. See, another one as well. And guess what's gonna happen? We put curses at that place. We ain't messing around. We ain't, we ain't BSing straight up. We put curses on that place. For the most high to destroy that place. Because we got a righteous man or woman stuck in captivity and slavery and still trying to do right. While being oppressed, while being destroyed, being bullied, society is against them and they still trying to do right. So I can't, y'all hold up. That place gotta go there. Straight up. No saving it, no helping it, no, uh, we, there's, there's some good one. No, get the F out of here. That place got to go down. We sick and tired of the lies, man. Huh? There you go. Yo, I like you, man. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. Miss HK. Huh? That's what I'm talking about, man. There you go. Check this out. Right. It's one thing to know God, right. but it's really God's people, sir. You have a relationship. Mm. It's a beautiful life, man. <laughs> it's a beautiful life. Let me show you something, man. Brother, you blessed. Man. I'll let you know straight up, you blessed, man. You better hold on to that. You better hold on to her. Y'all better hug, 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 hug. Hug, <laughs> hug, 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 all about righteousness, man. Straight up. You know, the Most High, y'all supposed to be blessed, man. Straight up, man. I pray the Most High bless y'all in everything y'all need, man. Righteousness, man. This is what it's about. This is what it's about. The, world, the Most High said in the book of First Peter, when it comes to the woman, you got to deal with them according to knowledge. Knowledge. That's what I believe. Knowledge. Check this out. Right. This is verse John chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. Speaking about God, if we keep his commandments. And Stacy, you don't know what damn thing. Keep it moving. Right? Hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. That's how we know God. He does say if I know him. And keepeth not his commandments is a liar. 
and the truth ain't in him. The truth ain't in him. That's why my job tonight is to make sure I teach y'all as much commandments as I can teach y'all. Not overload y'all with it. Teach y'all based on what y'all see, how y'all dress it, how y'all move, based on your actions, what you say you do, what you say you don't. And I go through the scriptures so I can show y'all what y'all supposed to do what you're not supposed to do. So y'all could be on the right path. You already got a spiritual question, connection with the Most High. That's why the Most High broke you here, and y'all have a very humble spirit. Wow. You know it's crazy? A lot of people say I do the same. <laughs> you see? That's all you all click, man. This is what it's about. Because what? We have been broken. We have been shattered. We need to be healed. We can't be here physically because first we got to start spiritually first. All right? First we got to start spiritually. And I didn't expect this. Yeah. Hey. All right, right now. Yeah, right. Us is out on a, on, a, on a normal strip. Right. You know? But yeah. this, is, this is amazing. Right. This is what I've been praying for. Did we give y'all a flyer already? Yes. Okay. Yes. You see? You see? What's your name again, sister? I'm Kai. Kaya? Kyla. 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 Kyla said this is what she's been praying for. Yes. And we've been telling people, when you pray for something, God will answer your prayers. Yes. In a serious way. He will. Yes. But the Lord don't hear sinners. But if he tries your heart and he knows you're sincere, yes. and you're trying, the Lord will answer your prayers. Yes. Now sometimes when he answers your prayers, people don't really look. Right. They don't really pay attention. Yes. I was using an example. A guy had a car and the car was driving on the road and the car broke down. And then he's in the street, he's on the road and darkness by himself. And he's like, oh shit, what I'm gonna do with this? It's like, God, please help me. He's praying to God and everything. Yes. Five minutes later, you see a, a guy with a big uh, truck with some wheels, some car jumper cables, and a wrench, some tools. Hey buddy, how you doing, man? You good? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, you know, my car just broke down, you know, and everything, and this was going on, this and that. But, you know, I'm just praying to God and just waiting for God to get me. Oh, you need any help, buddy? I got a monkey wrench. I got some car jumper cars in the, in, the, in, the, in the car. I got some extra wheels. Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'll just wait till God help me. All right, buddy. On the way. Be safe. Drive away. Ten minutes later. God. Oh, my God. Man. Where are you? Help me! Like like Kevin Hart. Nigga, help me! <laughs> help me! Yes. Praying to God, another car comes. This time it's bigger. It's three times bigger than the other one. Yes. An auto shop. Minivan. Extra wheels, everything. You got wheels on the side of the car. Hey, buddy, how you doing, man? You good? Yeah, I'm all right. Just lost everything, man. Just, the car's messed up. I need some wheels. Pray to God to help me. He's answering my prayers. Oh my God. Uh, I got some extra wheels if you want, man. You? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just waiting for God to help me. All right. Have a nice day. But remember that story. He was praying to God. God was answering his prayers in less than ten minutes. And missed the beat. Missed the lyrics. Mr. Saul, Mr. Tom, Mr. Every damn thing, Mr. Message, Mr. Van, Mr. Sign, Mr. Bus, Mr. Everything. Because he thought God was literally going to come down from this throne and go down and go, right, there you go. There you go. That's Isaiah 55. In the door. Period. Go ahead. You're going to like it. And it's on my um, other side, Ma. Testimony. And my testimony is, God used people in mysterious ways, including your enemy. But this isn't a testimony for my enemy, and I just want to share this because this is a blessing in disguise. Mm -hmm. And I have, it's my mom had eight kids. Eight kids, and I'm the second of all eight, the second oldest. And one day, I'm a college graduate, and one day, I went to my car on break crying, talking to God, 
and they say you can talk to God your way. There's not a specific way you can talk to God. You don't always have to pray. You can just have a conversation as if he's a normal person. And I went to the car and I broke down and I started crying and said, how do I know if you truly forgive me? How do I know if your grace and mercy is here with me as I walk through my days here? And there was so much guilt. And I was just, it, 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 it came out of nowhere. You know, I had a long work day, went to school. But God used my seven-year-old sister randomly. She was watching YouTube randomly. My seven-year-old sister somehow went to praise and worship. And all I hear is her screaming, thanking him, thanking him for grace and mercy, begging him for forgiveness, calling out those spirits that she see upon herself and upon us all in the house. And at first I was, I, was, I was freaked out because I'm like, where did this come from? But then it all clicked to me when I asked her, do you want to stop? She said, no, I'm not done because I need to talk to you. Went into the room and I had a conversation with her and God spoke to my seven-year-old sister mm. through me. Of everything, I went to the car and I prayed for her and I talked to him about and I And I put my worries there up on the cross and he used my seven-year-old sister to let me know, to, to, to send me confirmation that when you know better, you do better. Mm -hmm. When you know better, you do better. Okay? You trust in him, faith. You don't always see it, but it will work if you do it his way. And we're only human. So when we make mistakes, we pray, and we ask for forgiveness, and we ask for grace, and we ask for mercy. Okay, after a couple of times, mistake maybe, but you know better. So when you know better, you do better. And to hear that from my seven-year-old sister, she tell her testimony. Of everything I, I was praying for in that night, and I didn't know he was gonna bring that to me the same night, and he brought me confirmation on things I thought she talked to other people about. Right. I'm like, how do you know this? How are you using these words? You're only seven years old, and Holy Spirit came to her, and He touched her heart. And she came to me and said, when you know better, you do better. And she spoke to me. She prophesied it to me. She said, people are not going to come to you with your next because that's not God's ways. That's not what he wants. You have to live it by him. You have to live by his word. Yeah. If, you, if you, you can't be one foot in, one foot out, you cannot confide in the world and think you're a woman of God. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what I want to leave everybody with is love is there. And love comes from the most high. Yeah. Oh, come okay? On. And he is not. He is always faithful. His word is always faithful. And he is there no matter what kind of... The, God can use the enemies in the worst ways possible. Hmm. But it's going to be good for you. It's going to be good for you. And that message is going to be there. And what I wanted to say is, is I'm just thankful. And I'm thankful that God put me through everything he put me through as a woman of God. I would cherish him forever. Because oh. there's nothing like him. There's no God like him. A lot of people praise a lot of God, but I praise Jesus. Jesus, the Messiah. I, I, I'm just thankful, and I'm, I'm glad that you just gave me the opportunity to speak my truth because he hits me in another way that other people can't see, and that we call that the su supernatural. Huh. A balance between natural and spiritual, and you're not going to make it just thinking you're going to make it in the natural. You have to have the spiritual. And then a lot of people say that they have God, but do you know God? You have to know God. You have to have a relationship with God. A lot of people focus on the relationship they want with their loved ones, the relationship with this, but do you know God? Do you, have, do you talk to him? Do you listen when he talks back? And that's the most important thing. So I just thank you guys for the opportunity. And I just want to let you know that I, this is a blessing in disguise for me. So I thank you. And I thank you, I thank you, I thank all you guys for even listening, for letting me speak. It's fell behind me. I thank you. You're welcome. Now, he about to do some correction. I'm sorry. I thank you. I thank you. No apologizing. That's right. And a lot of people in the world is so full of chaos, they don't want you to think. He about to correct us, sis. And I was saying the same thing. <laughs> and the Lord Jesus don't know when his own father is coming back. Right. 
here on earth. They say that in the Bible. Yeah. He don't know when his father no is coming back, but God gave this earth to the devil. There you go. And his there you go. are roaming the earth, and this testimony here, the book, of, the book is here to save his people before time is up. Let me show you everything you said, sister. That's a beautiful testimony. And I just thank you. Hey, I'm thank sorry. the most high, sister. No, no apologies, I thank sister. you, God. Hey. Period. It's a blessing. Period. The, high, man. the most high give y'all a blessing to show who y'all truly are. Both of y'all. Both of y'all. The tears you got, let it out. Let it out. Don't let it fester. Don't let it build up. You don't know Right. Because those are tears You work in mysterious ways. Let me show you something, sister. Everything you said, I remember us. Everything you said. Chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, who and where is he? Number one, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. The wicked are the Caucasian people. I'm going to tell you how it is straight up. They are the wicked. Where are the wicked? You're damn right. The wicked are the, and you see, as I said, he just laughing. Think it's funny. It's not no damn joke. It's not no game. It's not a comedy show. They ain't laughing at our pain and our suffering. That's why I'm mad as hell. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, it says what? Oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. But my anger, am I attacking people? No. I'm taking my anger, and I'm channeling through the words of God. Because the words of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Cutting even to the asunder and divine the spirit. And is a manifestation of a person's thoughts. Just bringing out this word. Number two. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. You said about love. This is what God is speaking about with love. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. God is about love, and with love, he's about action. When you love somebody, you don't tell them, you show them. God wants you to love him as he loves you by action. What is the action when you start to keep God's commandments? Confirmation. Number three. This is the one that you're speaking about when God pleads through all these trials and tribulations. He's going to show it right here. It's a blessing when you're going to trials and tribulations. Why? Because we have to learn to come back to the most high the correct way. He's going to put us through that fire, through that pressure. Because pressure goes part and burst pipes on these diamonds. And God planned us to make us what? Diamonds and Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, keyword, whom he loveth, he chasteneth. Chasteneth means what? To try. To punish. Who God love, he's going to punish. And scourge of every son whom he receiveth. That's the sons and daughters. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? What children is a parent going to have and he don't punish them if they're doing wrong. Why is he punishing us? To correct us. So we can finally do right. When we do right, God is happy. That's when he takes us out of the darkness and he brings us into what? Into the light. When we're in the light, we start to shine. We start to glow. We start to exaggerate and start to what? Illuminate like the moon that's out there. And like the sun that's shining bright. Not bad, we are the sun and the moon and the stars. We're better than that. Because God made everything for us. The whole entire world God created literally for us. That's in second edges. Everything I have is going to prove in the Bible. This is the apocalypse. This is part of the Bible. The missing books. Right. This book was in the original King James 611 Bible. But they took it out and then split the Bible and gave you the Old Testament and New Testament. But this book is not found. Why? Because it was the missing link. It's the Old Testament first, then the Apocrypha, and then it comes into the New Testament. 
Why? Because the mystery of the Bible is that it's one big old book. It's not three books or two books. It's not Old Testament book only and New Testament. No, it's the whole Bible. And that whole Bible was only given to the people that's on this chart. Now, this is why they took out this book right here. It's one of these verses right here. This is 2nd Edris, chapter God. 7 and verse 10. A verse y'all probably never heard of before. <laughs> You're going to find out why. 2nd Edris, chapter 7 and verse 10. And I said, it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. Because for their sakes, I made the world. God literally made this whole entire earth for the people that's on this chart, literally. The children of Israel. Second Nedrus chapter six and verse 54. And after these also, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, we all come from Adam, that's true. Of him come we all. But now, and the people also who thou hast chosen. God has a chosen people. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Where? In the book of Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The Lord thy God hath made thee among all people upon the face of the earth. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee and made thee special and above all people that are upon the face of this earth. That's why whatever we do, we excel in every damn thing. Basketball. They let one so-called black man in. And now look at NBA today. Dominate. Invented the three-pointer. And who's the best three-point shooter ever? Steph Curry. <laughs> Larry Bird. Yes. But Steph Curry came in and smashed everything. Everybody. Everybody. Shut it down. Like Kenny Smith said. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Superman is in the building. <laughs> shut it down. Once the Israelites step in the scene, we shut everything down. Because we are the chosen people of God. There you go. We are the Israelites. We are the Israelites. That's us. The people that's on this chart. And they know. And they know. And they know that time is coming. That's why they're scared. There you go. The end of days. We are the end of days right now. For them and the beginning for us. Right. But check this. For you, sister, since you're my sister, I'm going to tell you about Jesus. The letter J for Jesus is only 500 years old. Now, check this. What they called him before is a Paleo Hebrew name, which is Yahushua. Right. They say Yahweh, but that ain't the way. It's Yahweh. There you go. They took out the A. You know what says? Call me by my name. But how can you call God by his name if you don't know the name? But look how much mercy. There you go. But look how much mercy. God had on both of y'all. Well, y'all didn't even call the right name. And he's still answering you. Period. Think how powerful that is. Right. 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 But y'all didn't even call the right name. And he still answered y'all. That's the grace and mercy. That's the loving God right there. Because he only loves us. The true name for God, brothers and sisters, is Yahweh. Yahweh. The son's name is Yahweh. Not Yahweh, not Jehovah, not Yeshua. It's Yahweh as the Most High's name, and the son's name is Yahweh. Y'all got the actual number of name of God right now. So the Most High going to bless y'all with even more blessings and power. Because now when y'all call and y'all pray, y'all going to call on the right name. And that power is going to reverberate. It's going to expel. It's going to magnify. It's going to explode. 
in righteousness. And the blessings gonna be overflowing like a damn thunderstorm. Like a rainstorm of blessings after blessings after blessings. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Second Ezra chapter 60, verse 54. Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. God made the world for the chosen people. We are the chosen people. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. They come from Adam too. But look what God said. Thou hast said that they are nothing. <laughs> Second Nigel chapter 60 verse 56. This is why they took out this book from the Bible, man. Because it's clear cut. It gets straight to the point like a damn shotgun. Thou hast said that they are nothing. But be like unto spittle. God said that. And he gets even harsh. But be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance, which means all of them, of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. God literally said, if you take all the heathen nations, the Caucasian, the East Indians, the Africans, the damn German, the damn Japanese, the Chinese, the Arabics, and the fake Jewish man who stole our nationality. If you take all of them and put them in one room together, God said they're equal to a amount of spit out of a mouth. Because he's only dealing with the people in this church. And he never changed. From the beginning to the end, to the end to the beginning, the Lord said to Isaiah, I have declared the end from the beginning. He never changed. And like he was saying, he says, we're the beginning. Let's see what this Bible says right here. Everything y'all saying, God brought y'all here to prove what y'all was thinking about. The dreams that y'all was having. And I already know y'all been having crazy dreams. They didn't understand what the hell that was. What the hell is that? What is God speaking? What is that sign? What is this? But the Most High said everything is about time. And you, see, <laughs> is spiritual, man. and you came right with it. He said everything is about timing. <laughs> you see that? Everything is about timing. Hey, the most high will forgive you, brother, but I check this. Hey, and that's why we're here. We here as, hey, hey, we got you. We got you, kid. We got you, kid. We build it. We build it, kid. Okay? Don't forget your blanket. Respect, okay? Right? Everything is about timing. And he just came back. Right. <laughs> right when you said Remember, that. I said everything is about timing, and he just left. Then I said everything's about timing, and he came right back again. Why? Because the most I want him to get this word too. Because we're only here for y'all. Usually I'll be torturing these damn Caucasian people with the words of God, left and right. Having a ball, having a show, having fun, laughing, making fun of them, teasing them. Yeah. And then, you know, but you're stupid. <laughs> yeah? All right, but check this. The words that you said, 2nd Legends chapter 6 and verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. They are the end of the world. And you see how everything is spiritual? Look what's going on in this block right here. Right, and not just that. Right, not just that. We're gathering. The police sitting on the side right here. The police said, hey man, they just sitting there. Now. He's just chilling. Right? You see that? We're gathering on the right hand side. We're on the right side of the road. Don't worry about the police. Those high the police. <laughs> right? Look. Right. Right, check this. We're on the right side and they're on the left. You see that? We're on the right side of righteousness, they're on the left of darkness. And look, you see? You see? And we're building. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the blessing of the Lord. That's the blessing of the Lord, sis. There you go. Check this. Second Legend chapter 6 verse 9. It says, For Esau is the end of the world. At the left side, they're the end of the world. Their world is coming down, like you said earlier. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. And we're climbing up that Jacob ladder. <laughs> we're climbing up that Jacob ladder. So two more, because I know y'all got to go. 
Two more. I don't want to waste your time. I want to make sure y'all get everything I need to know. Check this out. Check this out. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 9. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. The Lord directeth his steps. All praise and glory to the Most High. This is the truth for the Bible. Now, one thing for you, sister. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Our for job is to break too. down the cast of the strongholds. Please. The lies that we have been taught, the job as a prophet. So, the Most High, the teacher of the law, we're supposed to break down the strength, the damn strongholds that our people are suffering from. Thinking that Christ is a white man. Thinking that God is a white man. Thinking that we're nothing. Right? We everything. Right. Hey, brother man, out of respect, uh, can you put away the smoke out of respect, King? All right? There you go. There you go. There you go, King. All respect, King. All respect, King. Right? Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Check this out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. There you go. Two things. Entertainment. Right. The entertainment, the dresses, and everything. So what they teach the man, put on a dress like Kid Cudi. Like Kid Cudi. Kevin Hart had to put on a dress. Jamie Foxx had to put on a dress. Martin Lawrence. Shanae Nae. Yeah. Grandma Ma. Young Jock. Young Jock. Tyler Perry. Right. Tyler, Tyler Perry. Oh, that nigga Medea. <laughs> Medea. I ain't no damn Tyler. That's Medea now. And you see, as I said it, look, you see, the pants. A dress and a pants. Dress. Right. How's it going? Yeah, she got a dress on. Yeah. That came from prom? Is this? Is this? Formal night? Formal night? Formal night? Formal attire. Enjoy your night. I would, I would, I would joke with them, but nah, today is, today is different. Today is special. Today is very special. I'm here to build with y'all. Today is very special. Right? It says, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, with the women, what society has done, mm -hmm. they have put for the women okay. jeans and pants when a woman was supposed to wear a dress. Because the jeans and the pants, down there, it got the zipper. For the man private, when he's in the bathroom. The woman's supposed to have a dress so she can have air down there and can breathe. But now, when you start to wear pants and it's tight, guess what happened? Yeast infections start to come in. All the above. Right? Too tight. <laughs> <laughs> right? Now, yeast infection is God warning the woman and telling her, you're supposed to let it breathe down there. The society does what? They changes it. Why? Because this society is against God. They're wicked as hell. It says in Isaiah chapter 5, verse 15 and verse 20, they turn evil into good and good to evil. Everything is upside down today. Inside out. Inside out. Inside out. There you go. That's why this place is called Babylon. In the Bible, this place is called Babylon. Right. And not just Babylon, Babylon the Great. I was waiting for that. Because it has all the wickedness of all the past kingdoms here right now in America. Homosexuality from Sodom and Gomorrah. The Colosseums of sports from the Romans. All these abominations. Slavery from the Egyptians. Pharaoh oppressing the children of Israel. All of this is back in here in America. Everything. 
Elizabeth Miller is a Caucasian woman who's in the 1900s was the first woman to wear pants. And the reason why she wore pants was so she could have the feminist movement, so she could try to portray and be a man with pants in the family to get equal pay. Right. 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 There you go. Right. Like the sister was saying, men shall be the household. Right. That's the order. That's in 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 3. The head of every man is Christ. The head of the man. Hey. You can't trust no There you go. Hey, that's the what? That's the godly order. The order is what? Y'all locked in. Right. The order is what? They in the zone right now. We all in the zone. We all locked in right now, brother. We all locked in, okay? I'm building with you, kid. The order of God is the most high first. Then the sun, then men, women, and children. That's the godly structure and celestial order from God. When y'all follow that, blessings after blessings after blessings. Big B, stand up. Blessings after blessings. Yeah. Right. Key thing right there. Men of God and then a woman of God. That's the following key. There you go, brother. So with the woman, Elizabeth Miller, a Caucasian woman, she set it up to have women of all people and nation that was in order first to start to wear pants and take off the dress. And it was destruction. We know, Ma. He just turned his lights on. Right. 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 But check this. Check this. When a woman put on a pants, there's a spirit on them. A manly spirit. Right. Dominance. So now she's in that relationship. Right. But hey, hey, sis. Hey, sis. Right. But hey, sis. I love you. You know why? Because you're a sincere sister. You don't lie. You show what you are. You show who you are. That's how the Most High wants us to come to Him. Not hiding when the world see everything we do. He knows our thoughts already. There you go. He knows our thoughts already. Right. 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 I got you, Ken. We at that number. Right. So, Check this out, Ken. Only the yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool, that's cool. I just want to make sure they get they get it, you know, the scriptures and everything. You too, brother. You too, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, 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 hey we build it. We build it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, kid. But the thing is, I don't, I don't want them to lose train of thought because, you know. No, we, we here, kid. We here. We build it, huh? We family, man. We build it. That's why I say everything is timing. That's why you came back. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> right? So check this out. This is, yeah, it's time for, yo, I'm glad we see us. I'm glad we see us, man. All of us is here standing strong and bold. Right? That's what it is. Y'all can go ahead. That's what it is. Faith without sight. That's why we got a brother named Out of Sight. Who's mighty. Keep on going. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So for every Israelite man, their leader is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. There's a godly order right there. <laughs> you see? There's an order in that, man. You see? So when you keep in the laws of God, the Most High send His Son, Christ, Yahweh, to bless His people. And then the man get blessed, and then the man bless his wife, and then the <laughs> wife and the man, the other the children, God. are being all blessed. Right. 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 Right.
Okay, look what the Bible says. This is one of the best books. Yeah, you gotta get it. Check this out. Hey, you can order. All right, check this out, King. Check this out, King. What's your name, King? What's your name? Abdul? God, God, all praise. My name is Aria. Nice to meet you, King. Nice to meet you, King. Hey, all praise. Check this out. You about to be out? All right, come. All right, good. I'll be out for the last sermon. All right, gotcha. <laughs> Right? So, with you, brother, right? Dad, it Pork, makes shrimp, crab, and lobsters. So back and forth with it. Even if you don't eat it, just want to let you know. The beard, grow your beard. The hair, don't cut your hair. Keep your hair growing. I did research on hair, the power of hair. Right. Right. You see my hair right here? My hair was never like this before. And that is growing fast as hell. Why? Because the Most High is blessing me, and I'm keeping the kid. I'm, yeah, there you go. Yeah, like I'm thinking. There you go. Right. But the Most High will bless you more and more and more. Why? There you go. Right. Uh huh. Right. But it also comes from your spirit. We building, kid. We building, kid. <laughs> Good. Right. Right. There you go. But the mind right here. Okay. He was spoke. He go get it. Lord, get the weed off of him. Check this out. Come on. Oh, praise the good building king. This is Sirach chapter 19 and verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do the things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. First, you got to fear the Lord. And you'll get wisdom after. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. When you fear the Most High, you'll get wisdom by keeping His law. And the knowledge of His omnipotency, which is speaking about the Most High. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The Omni King or the Omnipotency, the universe, celestials, everything, that's all of the Most High. In conclusion. Right? Now check this one out right here. They say the heart of a man. Right? See? Right? It's at the heart of the men. This is why when you go, when you go by the heart, you go by the Bible, the words of God first. So check this. This is Jeremiah chapter 17. Right. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 9. It says, The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? When you're not going by the words of God, and you're going by your own opinion, there you go. You know nothing. There you go. You know nothing. There you go. Nothing at all. No, no understanding. That's why they say don't trust in men. Comprehension. Right. Men are fickle. Right. They tell you not to drop of a drop of a nut. Men are fickle. Fickle. Right. And now I'm not talking about men. No, no, no. I'm talking about human. Right. No, how you spell the word? Fickle. F-I-C-K-L-E. I agree. 
agree. I agree. Right. Check this out. Check this out. Check out. The word is coming out. Check this out. I, the Lord, search the heart. Now, people think when you hear about a heart, they think it is. I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. So the Lord is the one that checks a person's mind and their thought and their belief. And you know every thought. Right. And know if you love them. And you'll love the Lord when you start to keep his commandments. Now, I'm going to go back to your point. You said about being a godly man. You got to follow a godly person. A godly husband or a godly wife. Look what the Lord says right here. This is, this is Sirach chapter 37 and verse 12. But be, but be continually with a godly man. Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Whose mind is according to thy mind and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. Key thing, be continually with a godly man whom you knowest, thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. That's for both men and women. Right. And we believe it, can We here. Right. We here, King. Right. I'm practicing black excellence. So you see me. Please do not defraud me. Please do not wrong me. Please do not wrong me. I'm talking about everybody that exists in the universe. In the universe. Right. Right. Check this out, King. I might sleep right there. Or I might sleep right here. Right. I don't need you to help me. Right. I don't need to ask you for anything. Right. We just here to help. All I want to do is get on the bus. I'm going to take off. Right. If I walk around this town or this city for the next 12 hours, by default, right. by my God, I will be able to do what? If I put on a piece of paper, a cigarette button, let me do it and put it in the garbage can. Right. If you're bothering you, then you are up against me. And I was just against me, against God, talk it up with God, take it up with God, or in the church, <laughs> or in the name, whatever. Spiritual place that you hold your worship in. Right. Easy as you can see. Take it up with your boss. Right. God is my boss. Right. Let me show you something, okay? Boss, All right, let me show you I something, okay? Nothing. I can walk away from yard. I can go and show me something. Right. And I'm okay. So I'm not right. the bus over here. I was holding the ticket. I was holding the Right. What time was your bus? Oh, 7.35 Monday. All right. Dang. All right, let me, let me give you some scriptures for you, King, before we leave out of here, all right? Let me give you some. Yeah, I know. Hey, let me show you something. Right. All right, brother man, brother man, let me, let me show you. All right, check this out. This is Ephesians. Let me. This is Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 20. Give me thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Submit yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, 
even as the Lord of the church. For we are the members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. That's the words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. That was brought here for a reason, through the Spirit of the Most High. If you say that's your girlfriend or your wife, the scripture says, once you have laid with a woman, but she was a righteous woman, that's your wife. That's the laws of God. And not just that, the Most High gonna bless y'all more and more. When y'all keep these commandments, for you as a sister, Most High will, I'll see you next time, you have on a dress, Beautiful dress. Hey, like he said, like he said. Like <laughs> yeah. All right. There you go. There you go. Hey, hey, that's a beautiful sermon, brother. I might have to get you some fridges, brother. You to me, <laughs> all right. We all are peoples in the spirit, king, and in the flesh. All kind, all praises, right? Check this, right? So as a brother, right? Grow your beard, no pork, no shrimp, no crab, no lobsters. Do research on that flyer that my wife gave y'all. Come back to being a prince of power, a son of God. As a daughter of Zion, put on a dress, get a beautiful head wrap, be modest in apparel, and we'll birth your beautiful, humble spirit. The Most High gonna bless you. Crazy time. The Lord, don't forget. The Lord talked to your sister, or was it your sister or your daughter? And how how old was she? You know what the number seven means? Completion. It means completion. It means completion. There you go. It means completion. That's why the Most High used her to speak to you, to show what He didn't forget about none of us. In the same night. Same night. See that? Yeah, this is real. Trust me, when I say that, this is real, man. There you go. Because that's through the Holy Spirit. So through the Spirit, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushua, may the Most High bless y'all both and protect y'all. And keep pushing out this word. We're here to push out this word, man. You see, we didn't even do nothing to them, but look, you see? You see? You see? Nervous. Y'all use that number on that flyer. Get in tune Thank with you. us. You, you too, sis. Thank you. You have a good one as well. Oh, so I will. You get that information. There's a number on it. Yeah, sister. There's a number on it. And the most high bless y'all. You too. You too. All right. Hey, the uncle. First. <laughs> And there are seven people on the live. Zephaniah 201. Gather together, O nation, not desire. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as a chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have rough his judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be here in the day of the Lord's anger. The Lord's about to bring death and destruction to this place. Straight up. Christ is about to bring a sword to this place. End the days. So we got to gather. 
Hey, most I will. Guess what? Guess what, sister? Guess what, sis? Right. I know. And we fight it right now. But guess what, sister? It's not even a horse, sister. It's a chariot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a spaceship, sister. We came over here on slave ships, and we're going to be moving out here on spaceships. There you go. We're trying. Shalom. What is the job? Judah. What's your job? Judah. What's your job? Judah. What's your job? Judah. Come. There you go. Becky. Damn, devils. What's going on, King? Let's build. Let's build, man. Yeah, let's build, man. Hey, hey, let's hey, stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. No. Okay. Say, go to the highways and byways and bid the people back to the marriage. Right? And through the Spirit of Most High, bless us with two beautiful people in sincerity and in truth. How are you doing, Becky? What's going on, Tom? You good? You had a good night? Did you rob somebody? You see that? He just all jolly. How you doing? What's your name? Aliyah? Aliyah? What's your nationality? Um, black. Black? Are you the same color as your hair? <laughs> right? Now, African American, where did the term African come from? Africa. Right. Now, the word African or Africa. It comes from a Caucasian man named Leo Scipios Africanus, a Caucasian man. Now, you said you're African and American. Where did the term America come from? Right. The term America comes from a so-called another white man, right? Named Amerigo Vespucci. Yeah, Amerigo Vespucci. Vespucci, Vespucci. Best push. There you go. <laughs> right? There you go. And better go less push. Got 20% left, babe. Right, good. right? So now, you ever see yourself build? We're going to build, kid. We're going to build. I'm on this side right here. What about you, sister? Right here. I'm on this side right here. The first time. All right. What about you, sister? I am Judah. 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 There you go. Judah. There you go. There you go, Judah. You're welcome. Nah, not Judah. You don't want me to do this. Judah. Yeah, cut, cut. All right. What's this right here? Judah. You see the sister? There's Benjamin. There's Levi. Right. Simeon. What tribe you from, sister? Peter, one of these. So but we got to go. You are for the tribe of Judah, just like his mother. Right? <laughs> you better know it. You better know it. Please know it. Right? So as a tribe of Judah, Christ comes from that tribe as well. You got a great crown on your head. There you go. A great crown on your head. So Bump that Nike crown. You got a great crown on your head. The biggest crown. I want to snatch it off on your head because you're a lady. I will not do this for you. Thanks. You're a man, guess what? <laughs> All right, check this out. Check this out. This is Jeremiah chapter 14. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah Moneth. We're speaking about the tribe of Judah. Judah Moneth. Well, you got to put the hood down, King. Okay? It's the words of God, brother. All praises. Judah Moneth. And the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground. So God said the tribe of Judah are so-called black and so-called brown people, or so-called African-American people. Those are the tribe of Judah. And the cry of Jerusalem has gone up. And the city of Jerusalem has gone up. We are the children of Israel and also the tribe of Judah. Right now, we're suffering curses because we haven't kept God's commandments. One of the curses is God said we're gonna be what? Serving people in Christianity, in Islam, Muslims, all this and that, every damn thing under the sun, instead of serving God and keeping his commandments. You did that, right? I did the same thing as well. Yeah, I, I, was, in, I was a damn Islam for 30 years. So I was Muslim in 10 years. 
Yeah, the old ass. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord did the same to me too. Right. You know why? You went back and forth because guess what? You have a zeal of God. You believe in God. You have that zeal. You believe in God, but the problem is that we didn't have the knowledge yet. We lost that knowledge. Right? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. God said his people are destroyed. Keyword, his people, God has a chosen people. You are from the tribe of Judah, you are one of God's chosen people. Are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What is that knowledge that we're missing? The laws and the statute and commandments of the Bible, the truth. Truth. There you go. We're missing the truth. For real. What is the truth? Psalms 119, verse 142. The law is the everlasting truth. Everlasting righteousness. Once you keep the laws of the Most High, the Most High will start to bless you again and again and again. How are you going to stop God's law? Right. How are you going to stop God's law? Because your madness, your hatefulness, your jealousy, right. Envy right. Or your under understanding? Right. Your understanding? Right. Right. Who won't stop God? Who won't stop God? Who won't stop God? God, listen. 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 If I was a righteous man, and you know I'm a righteous man. Right. I've been praying to you since you made me. Right. God, for these people, for their lack of knowledge. Right. For my understanding. Right. Please forgive them. Ah. No, 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 you know they faith, you know they will. There you go, brother. Praise the most high. The most high is the most high. Well, he gon' pay. I'm only two steps away. Hey, okay. most high will okay. kick. We are the sons of God. <laughs> you hear that, King? We we the sons of God, bro. No, we are the sons of God. Let me show you that. Let me show you that real quick. Let me show you that real quick. I know it. I know it. God put it in my heart like a poet. I know it. He protected. Right? So, sister, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, sister, all right? When you read that fly, you look up the information, you do your research, sis. Your daughter of Zion. Come back to the Most High before it's too late, sis. We love you, all right? Enjoy your night. They didn't get that car. Dude. Right, check this out. Exodus. Exodus. Chapter 4 and verse 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord. Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. So we are the sons of God, brother. Me and you, we the sons of God, brother. Right? We are the children of the most high. Children of the most high, man. He'll be back in, in two weeks. Come on, God. <laughs> there you go. I swore to God, I think I will harm y'all if I will. I blame you. I don't worry about anything. I know death is going to be me. Right? 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 Right?
Alright? Let me show you something, man. Let me show you something. You can't say key. Kosher key. Kosher key. Kosher key. Kosher key. Come on. You wouldn't even have to show up. I still would have said the same thing. I know. My body told me. That's in your spirit. Yeah, my body would have said this. Let me show you this right. You do not have the right just mind of me. You do not stand next to me. My body will destroy you. I'm God. Let me show you this. Look at this, King. Look at this, King. Revelation chapter 5. 5 and verse 10. And has made us unto our God, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Uh, what you going to do, King? Right. And we all for the people, man. We're here to bring the words of God. We're for the people. Right. 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 Because the Lord against the spirit of fear, kid. Surely on God. Right. Right. But remember, you're an Israelite, kid. A prince of the power. Now, the reason earlier why I told you to drop the cigarette and the weed, I know you said you had to go through it. But I got to. But check this. Right. Notice. Right. Try it. <laughs> you win. So now you gotta fight. Can't be a hero of the world, kid? I can't do anything without my steps and my actions. Right. Let me show you this real quick. Alright, brother. Yeah, I know. James Hill. James Hill. James Hill. James Hill. He say his cousin is in an Israelite camp in Dallas, Fort Worth, I think, or something like that. And his cousin is an Israelite. Right. No, I'm saying he is. Yeah, he is. Okay, okay. <laughs> Say it is dead. Is, is an Israelite in Texas. Right. I'm, not, I'm not gonna give the government names because I want to you know, you know, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, all praise to the most high. That's why we here. That's why we here. That's what I'm saying. That's why the word you were saying. So we are guys. Cool. Right. Maybe. Cool. 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 That's why we here, kid. Cool. I'm 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 Okay, check this out. Check this out. There you go, brother. That's how it's supposed to be. Because guess what? The Most High says what? You can lose a hundred, you can lose a thousand fold, you can lose one, the Lord will give you a million, man. He'll give you everything back. Right? Check this out, King. Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 4. It is not for kings, or the mule. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor the prince's strong drink. Lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Right. But check this. But check this, brother. Check this, brother. Nah, we in the building, man. Right. 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 Right.
Right, right, ownership. right, right. I'm saying ownership. Hey, you're a bigger man. Check this. You're a bigger man than most people because at least you admit what you do. There you go. Because it's spirit of a lion. Yeah, you gotta know it. As a lion, man. I don't got a profession. Right. Like I'm talking about. I don't know what you're saying. Right. Right. So we're going to move forward with the bullshit. Right. Straight up. Miss me with the bullshit. Hey. Anybody. Hey, we all going to get this. Man, woman, and child. Miss me with Let me show you something. Let me get another one. This is Proverbs chapter 24. Not you. I know, I know. Okay. Hey, we're building. I'm the same spirit, brother. I know you. Yeah, yeah, we want more. We're the same spirit. We're the same spirit. Check this. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. For a just man falleth seven times and rises up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. As long as you get back up, get right back up, confess your sins to the Most High, pray to the Most High for that repentance. Ask the Most High to please strip for your spirit to not do it again. You get back up, the Most High got you, man. Listen, here you go. Collaboration. Go ahead, Kate. If you take one step to God, right. he'll take ten to you. There you go. If you take ten there steps you go. to God, he'll take a hundred to you. There so you go. So run to God because God will run to you. If you believe in him without, no doubt, he have the true faith of a real man. Other than that, I do not understand your desire. Your decisive plan. Right. Check this out, King. Okay? Check this out. I got another one for you. On, this is Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 4, verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death. I will do these things. And the Lord shall fight for thee. And he stand up for every day. There you go. Every day. Good brother. All right. Hey, it's a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure, man. I know. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure man. man. I need to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a pleasure, kid. Wow. Right. Hey, 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 brother, brother. I love you too, brother. For real, man. Hey, the most high, he just put dirt on his hands and his head, y'all. He said he need to be pure. Hey, I appreciate it, Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hey, man. That's what it's about, kid. Hey. Got 10%, babe. Hey, we love you too. We love you too, man. This one is about. This seems like a dream. I wasn't done to watch. Who wanted to watch? I want to lay this bitch on the table and show y'all. You know? Nothing. Right. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Keep that for your body. Mm -hmm. Hey, we you this. I'm yeah. all these watches. Right. I'm all these watches. Right. Put it on that go. Hey, I'm going to be I'm going to be here. Okay, cool. I don't want to be Just like, don't worry about it, man. That's all we need. We need a bit. I'm going to be here. 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 I'm going to be Come. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Go. Give me a second. Give me a second. Check it out. Nah, <laughs> he said, You checking me? <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> What's your name again, King? What's your name again, King? May the Most High bless Robert. Through the Spirit of Yahweh by Shimo Shah. Russell Jr. May the Most High bless Russell Jr. And protect you in all things, King. Khan. By Shimo Mashiach. Khan. All praises. Kwam Yashurala. All praise your help by Samuel Shah. May the most high bless the brother man and the sisters as well. And a beautiful couple and the black Hispanic American people. 
and death and destruction shall act right him, while Anasu, while Badi, while Haragim, while Mashapati, while Alkal, Adawami, while Gawami, while Ayyab Yab Nawa, Bab Kusha, Bab Kusha, Bab Kusha, Yahaw, Bashim, Mashiach, Yahusha. Death and destruction to all heathens. All Edomites, all damn heathens, all these crusty devils. And may the most high raise of the twelve tribes of Israel. Come here, Shuala. Come here, Shuala. Akim Nashala. Imagine. Barak. Yahaw, Bashim, Yahusha, Brakita. Kwame Ashurala. We got next. We got next. We got next. Forever. 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 Take the kingdom. Take the kingdom. Take the kingdom. Now. Now. But I shimmer my shit, I can have a side. But I shimmer my shit, I can have a side. But I shimmer my shit, I can have a side. Quiet, Sorella! All praises. We love y'all. Shimmer my shit, I can have a side. It's right, Illinois, signing out. Come here, Sorella.